Um, <clears throat> appreciate the time. Special thanks to the Lightworks team and to my buddy Mark for helping me get started. Uh, from Karen Smith and I, who really Karen's the main point of contact for all things Epson at Lightworks. Uh, I support Karen. Um, my job, Jeff Eldon, I'm the BDM for the enterprise team on the West Coast, which for me is Colorado West, all the way to Hawaii, including Alaska. But in many cases, turns out to be worldwide as well, as many of these customers have a worldwide presence. Uh, so let's get started. Um, the, the world of work is changing dramatically, and with it, the environments and applications that we use display technologies. As you can see on this slide, gone are the days of the old, what used to be a 70-inch flat panel on the wall as a meeting room, conference room display device. And now today, with this new hybrid environment that uh, we're now working in, clearly the hybrid environment is here to stay. Uh, and so the question is now, how do we adapt uh, with this new space, this new technologies that are available uh, in the marketplace? Um, and as you can see, there's much more content in a PowerPoint presentation than there has been in the past. Gone are the days of just a PowerPoint and a box in the middle where you can hear voices. We've got chat boxes. We've got the actual presentation in the main area of the screen. And then we've got uh, people's faces on screen as well. And what this new terminology that comes out is called meeting space equity. So the people that are in the conference room have the same meeting space equity as the meeting, uh, as the people that are meeting externally. And that's kind of what we're, we're looking like uh, for the new, uh, the new conference room technologies and the new standard. And so with that, what we see at Epson is with all these changes, three key elements. The display to, the needs to be much bigger. And in many cases, it needs to be ultra wide. We're gonna talk about what we're doing at Epson to address those. And then of course, it just needs to work, right? We needs to be seamless. When you walk into the room, we want this device to turn on. When we walk away, we want it to turn off. Uh, so the good news is that Epson, uh, along with the changing environment, our projectors are also changing. And so we uh, just introduced a couple different series of smaller, lighter, brighter, uh, laser light source uh, products into the marketplace. And with that, we've also introduced some key technologies that we'll talk about. These technologies will offer a more uh, immersive experience and, and much more than that old uh, uh, flat screen that was just the presentation itself. In today's corporate environment, the centerpiece is now the display. And with that, we want to have large images that can be uh, easily utilized and maximize the space in the meeting room area and allow for that meeting space equity for all the participants. <clears throat> um, we talked about uh, the importance of having the large screen. Uh, Epson is one of the few brands that offers 21-9 aspect ratio. Uh, we've been working with key uh, partners in the, uh, the web meeting space technology to make sure that we're providing what maximizes that space for all of these various components. Like I said, the, the, the main screen for viewing, the chat box for interacting and collaborating, and then of course the meeting space equity where everyone can raise their hand, see and be seen. Um, it's not just about being bigger, it's being ultra wide and being flexible. We can scale and change aspect ratio to meet the need of whatever space that you're in. We have the projectors um, as well to meet the space that you need from a smaller huddle type room space all the way up to a large 21-9 uh, aspect ratio that's 16 feet wide. Uh, so we have many options available to scale whatever the meeting room need might be. <clears throat> And of course, it's not just about optimizing the size, it's uh, about making sure that we have the right aspect ratio. So while 21.9 is the latest and greatest, 
uh, our projectors will still do 16 by 10, 16 by 9, and even 4 by 3. Believe it or not, there are some government applications where that's still a viable uh, aspect ratio. Um, and all of these things help make the meeting uh, more beneficial, more immersive, and more collaborative for all the participants. Seamless, we talked about being able to walk into a room. The projector recognizes that you're in the room. When you hook up a notebook computer to the device, it turns on instantly. When your meeting is over, you unplug the device, you walk away, the projector shuts down. Um, this is another key feature that Epson has added to its projector line. Not all models, but most models in the PowerLite series and interchangeable lens series, both EVPU uh, uh, 1006, 1007, 1008, 2010, that's 6, 7, 8, 10,000 lumens, and then also in 13, 16, and 20,000 lumens as well. So the full gambit of, uh, of, of lumen output and light, uh, light source, all laser projectors. Um, <clears throat> it's got to work easily and smoothly. And so we work with several other partners uh, in this space to make sure that uh, our product works seamlessly with theirs. And so whether you're using Teams or Zooms or Google Meets, uh, these new feature sets will help make your meeting uh, more seamless, uh, easier to manage, and uh, more collaborative for all the participants. <clears throat> when you put it all together, what you get is a conference room setting that gives you the powerful platform, immersive, collaborative work productivity. Uh, in other words, it's just an innovation for people to come together, and it's the kind of technology that you come to expect from Epson. Uh, Epson projectors are easy to set up and manage uh, once you get the projectors in the space. Um, it's just a matter of uh, lighting them up in the screen, the screen size available, and then applying the appropriate aspect ratio and uh, let the meetings begin. As I said uh, earlier, we have many varieties of projectors that fit in these applications. So uh, shown here are just three of the series of projectors that are available with these new 21.9 aspect ratio. Um, all laser projectors. Um, in some cases, the very top model is our PowerLite uh, Ultra Short Throw series of product. Uh, our classroom type projectors like the L530, the L630, the L730, um, and then even our big interchangeable lens products from 6,000 all the way up to 20,000 lumens have this auto sensing, auto on, um, auto off uh, capability that uh, you can utilize in any conference room application. I think that brings us pretty close to the end, but of course, with uh, all of our laser projectors, they come with a three year, out of the box, three year, 20,000 hour laser light source warranty in the unexpected event that something goes wrong, we'll troubleshoot. Uh, and in fact, if we need to send out a new unit, uh, we'll send one overnight to you and then uh, you'll just send the uh, defective unit back and that's kind of the end of the process. Uh, if you want, you can add for a nominal fee uh, up to five years of uh, advanced exchange warranty on these products. The technology itself, all of Epson's projectors, uh, laser light source or lamp-based are using Epson's proven three chip, three LCD technology. Um, this is our technology, um, and as you may know, Epson is the leader in projection uh, in the projector space. We're roughly 60% market share, so every 6 out of 10 projectors sold in the U.S. Um, is an Epson projector. That's a general statement across all projector uh, lines. Uh, it does vary within more specific uh, lumen range and projector types. Uh, as well. Um, incredibly bright projectors all the way up to 30,000 lumens. Um, LCD projectors, three, LC, three chip, three LCD projectors are really the way to go to get the most accurate color representation uh, on screen. 
Uh, backed by the best from a service standpoint, our service department is the standard and one of the uh, four, four EBSID. Um, these, the service department really does go the extra mile and in the unevent, in the unexpected event of a, a defective or damaged broken product, um, we really go the extra step to make sure that we do the right thing for the customer. In most cases, it's just an advanced exchange, which resolves the problem. But in some cases, we'll spend extra time and uh, uh, give whatever support is needed, both to the reseller and the end user to make sure that uh, the experience is the best for the, uh, for the end user. Uh, with that, I'll conclude uh, my portion. And I got done a little bit earlier than expected, but if you have any questions. We do have questions actually. Um... I have a question here from Juan. Um, we currently use 7,000 lumen laser projectors. Do your line of laser projectors have anything in that output? And also, do they still have the uh, Farouja chipset? Excuse me. Yeah, so the Farouja chipset, I'm not familiar with. The, the lumen range, we absolutely have that. We have both in fixed lens power light product, like a power light 730, which is basically a classroom projector, uh, 10 foot throw for a hundred inch screen kind of device. That's 7,000 lumens in a fixed lens. We also have six, seven, eight and a half and 10,000 lumens in one series of projectors with interchangeable lens. So we have a couple of varieties of options in that 7,000 lumen laser projector space. Okay, excellent. Um, is extended warranty discounted for education customers? Yes, yeah, so education and corporate customers receive special pricing. And so you can work with your Lightworks representative and get the appropriate pricing for whichever space that you're in. Excellent. Um, can you describe your integration with Microsoft Front Row? <laughs> Well, I've been working with Microsoft for over a year, specifically um, making sure that our products meet the needs of, of that new Teams software update that we're in the middle of. Uh, um, the Teams software itself is continually updating and maximizing the new windows and spaces that it's uh, created in its software. And so uh, I would say absolutely yes. And uh, I think we have someone speaking on that later today, in fact. You know, I think I speak for everyone. Um, can you, it's the million dollar question, of course. Um, what, what do you know about availability? Um, we would love an update. Can you share what you know? Yeah, absolutely. Availability has been a challenge in the past several months, but I would tell you that in the interchangeable lens space, um, most of our projectors are available and ready to ship. Uh, the lenses, depending on the lens, you could be, you know, 30 days or less out. Um, some of the interactive projectors are still challenging, but for the most part, the power light classroom projectors and our inter interchangeable lens uh, higher lumen product is in a much better inventory position than it's ever been. And uh, in most cases, ships within 30 days. Excellent. Here's another question. Um, what is your uh, take on projectors versus displays? Well, I mean, Flat they're all, displays. yeah, ultimately they're all displays. And I think uh, in the past, prior to the pandemic, um, what you saw is kind of a move to more display-based viewing. And I think what's happened after the pandemic and what we're seeing, especially in the corporate space, is that the screen size of a flat panel display in the past, right? The old 70 inch screen size just isn't enough. And this new 21.9 aspect ratio allows the screen to be wider, ultra wide in fact, and allows for the setup when you're sitting down in a room to have the screen now uh, appropriately uh, putting your eyes in the middle of the screen, if you will. And so I think the, the larger the screen, 
the better the meeting, just because of the content that the meeting now has available to it. And so um, I would say that we're seeing more and more projector opportunities than we have in the past. And a lot of that is due to the new type of immersive collaborative meetings that are taking place with so much more content on screen. You mentioned immersive and collaborative, and that leads me to one of our next questions. Um, what is Epson's plan in terms of interactive projectors? What's in the works? What can we expect? Well, we, uh, we are one of the leaders, if not the leader in, interactive, in the interactive space. Um, most classrooms across the country utilize our, one of our interactive projectors in those spaces. Um, we do have product, um, currently the 1485 is kind of the, the standard in the product line. That product still remains. I think there might be some changes uh, coming in the future, but I don't have any firm timing on when those changes occur. Um, and so you, but, but I can say that you can expect Epson to be in the interactive space in a big way. Going Great. Forward. Can you tell me, are you continuing your relationship with smart technologies? Um, we know that previously you had an integration with Notebook in which your hardware was pretty responsive to their software. What yeah, is the I don't know the answer. Yeah, I don't know the answer to that specifically around smart. Um, I could follow up with you um, offline and certainly pass that information out to everybody. But I will tell you that our projectors, we work with many partners uh, across all of the projector lines to make sure that our product works um, with whatever the customer needs to make to make uh, their meeting uh, most effective. Yes, we've always appreciated sort of your agnostic, your being device, uh, sorry, software agnostic. And I did notice I took a training recently that you've actually added some new software to your projectors, um, to your interactive projectors. Right. Um, can you tell us a little bit about the new Epson whiteboarding software? Is that something that you can share? Uh, that wouldn't be something that I would be able to share with you today, unfortunately. No problem. Can you talk about the new cooling system on your laser projectors, the <laughs> kinds that minimize sound and heat, and also the smaller uh, chassis on your larger models? Yeah, no, I love to talk about that. Now, Great. Um, both of those series, we introduced recently a new 10,000 lumen uh, laser light source projector, which is the lightest, smallest 10,000 lumen in the industry. Um, at just under 40 pounds. Um, that device is on the same chassis as the 1008, 8,500 8, 8 lumen, 7,000 lumen on the 1007, and then 6,000 lumen. Same chassis, just different light output, and then different lensing when you get up to the 10,000 lumen. Uh, the good news is, with, as with all Epson projectors, if you've got an Epson projector with a lens, and you need to replace it, the chances are that interchangeable lens will work with your new projector. Uh, so that's something uh, fairly unique to Epson. Um, the other thing that you asked about was the new uh, cooling system in our 13, 16, and 20,000 lumen models, which don't quote me on this, I know you're recording me, but um, I call it the Formula One uh, cooling system of the industry. That's my term, not an official term. Um, it's liquid cooled and laser and, and whisper quiet laser technology. So with that, the 13, 16 and 20,000 lumen models all are liquid cooled. And as a result of that, they don't have as many fans inside the projector. So they run much, much, much quieter and uh, also much cooler. Uh, and so look for that in uh, 13, 16, and 20,000. Our 20,000 lumen projector, also the smallest and lightest by a long way in the industry. We're talking about a 20,000 lumen projector that weighs under 60 pounds, uh, which is really impressive to see. So any customers that are interested in uh, demonstrating that device you know, let your light work rep know, let us know. We're happy to show off this new uh, latest and greatest technology that we've just brought to market. 
No, oh, excellent. Um, can you please speak on the stacking projectors and the use case for stacking? Such an interesting yeah. question. So um, laser projectors make it more easy to stack. And when we go into our, our super high lumen, like 30,000 lumens of uh, light, uh, we can stack up to three of those. So if 30,000 isn't enough, we can go all the way up to 90,000. Uh, in that case, we use Epson's free uh, software, which allows you to uh, blend and stack and calibrate and manage your fleet of projectors um, with this free software. And so uh, something, again, unique to Epson that we offer at no cost that really helps make a, a larger, more immersive display. Excellent. Um, you know, Jeff, we, uh, many of our team members at Lightworks had the great good fortune of visiting your headquarters in, in Irvine. Is that where, are, are you are you located there? Yeah, so I'm based in Seattle. Um, our office is in Los Alamitos and it's a brand new campus and we've really taken a lot of effort to make it user friendly. So we bring in a lot of customers, both end users and resellers and integrators to kind of see the office, which is a showcase for all of our technologies. Um, we have a projector room with a fleet of projectors above that we can light up, do comparisons um, and see what's you know going on in the projector space for whatever projector you need um, in your space. Oh, awesome. Yeah, I do recognize that space behind you. It looks your, your, your background is, I think, exactly. Yeah, that's the visited. lobby. Yeah, we've, been, we've got one of our, a couple of our projectors there blended it, we're showcasing. 